Ed from Ford, Kentucky, has a question about a drip. It's his upstairs toilet tank, mm. or at least he thinks it is. Ed writes, I've replaced everything inside. I installed a new wax ring under the bowl. I see no water leakage under the toilet, but I keep hearing what sounds like dripping inside my wall and the, near the toilet. He's underneath that wall. Anyway, when I shut off the water to the toilet, the dripping goes away. So Ed says he is completely confused by this. Yeah, I mean, the the person to me says call a plumber and see what's right. going on there. Yeah. Okay, but as far as that goes, your water bill is going to show. I had a dripping toilet for two months. I didn't know about it really because I've been traveling so much. Okay, okay. We found out yesterday. I had two water bills of three hundred dollars each, which was ridiculous. So now I've got to get a new toilet. I'm not going to deal with this toilet anymore. So I had that problem. I never heard it dripping, but when a toilet is having a problem, and this is why I wasn't here to hear it, it will turn on and off and on and yeah. off by itself, right? If you're not hearing it fill back up, then it's probably not losing water. The wax ring doesn't make any difference at all. So just because you replaced the wax ring doesn't mean that uh, it's going to stop a dripping because there's no dripping there. Because mm -hmm. you don't see water on the floor doesn't mean that it's not running a little bit. So you have to listen to see if it runs. And if your water bill goes up with this thing uh, on and you're turning it off and you don't hear it anymore, it's probably what is known as the flapper inside the toilet that's leaking just a little bit. But so and, and that's even, where you have to do it. And even if he replaces it, that may not eliminate that problem. Because the flush valve might be all pitted on top. Right. So there's other parts and pieces involved uh, as far as that goes. But if a toilet is dripping, it's not going to be the wax ring. It's not going to be underneath. You're not going to see water on the floor. You will have it turn on and off just a little bit, and it's just seeping a little water around that flapper. And that's the flush valve is is the the circle, and the flapper sits down on it. You can put your finger and run, run it around the top of the flush valve and see if it's pitted, mm -hmm. and if you might have to replace that. But that's where a leak is going to be. Oh, so that's not a molded part of it. You can replace that ring. Yeah, but you got to take the tank off. It's uh, uh, it's it's a big job, but you can do it. You have to do it if it's if it's bad. Uh, but that's where a problem will be with a toilet. It's not going to be the wax ring. It's not going to show on the floor. That kind of thing. That doesn't make a toilet drip. We had this identical problem in our living room, in our uh, guest your toilet downstairs. Ran. Yeah, it would it would go on and off like you're talking about. It made Boy, it'll cost you a noise. fortune if you don't it get did, on it. Well, and so we had Abacus come out to work on it. You can't get Abacus in, <laughs> in, in uh, Kentucky. Kentucky. Sorry <laughs> no, about you that. Can't. But anyway. So is Alan. <clears throat> so anyway. <laughs> He'd like to be everywhere. So he came out. Um, they came out and they said, yeah, we can replace this piece for you, but this toilet is 15 years old. Mm -hmm. He says, you may want to consider replacing it. And of course, Sandy said, oh, sure. And so they replaced the toilet and that magically fixed the problem. Well, guess what I'm doing? Next weekend, when I can stay in town a little longer, I'm replacing a toilet and I'm replacing a garbage disposal. Because... Where were you when I needed you? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we're here when you need us anytime. You got a question, go ahead and send it to us. Visit homeshowradio.com and fill out that Ask Tom form. It's right there in the middle of the homepage. We'll take it and answer it either in another one of these daily Ask Tom videos, our weekly Facebook Live, Ding. or Sunday morning on Early Edition.